Before we travel, I always list down everything that um, I'm bringing so I will not gonna forget anything. Hey friends! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys? I hope you are doing well, safe and healthy. So, um, as you read in the title below, I am going to pack because tomorrow we are going to Gatlinburg, Tennessee for four days. Um, it's the third, it's the third time that um, we went for a vacation with Dylan. The first time was he was six months old and um, in Gatlinburg, Tennessee as well. And then when he was 10 months old, in Destin, Florida, in the beach. So this is the third time that we are traveling with him. So I thought I am going to share to you like my tips on how to pack or the packing essentials of having a toddler. So because I have a little bit of experience already traveling with a toddler, um, I haven't experienced traveling um, with him in a plane. So this is again, um, a road trip it's about four to five hours drive to Gatlinburg and they are one hour ahead from us so um, that's okay so it's not that far so that's okay um, so first of all, I'm going to share please I'm sorry like the background is messy because it's very explainable. I am packing tonight and I'm showing it to you. So first off, before we travel, I always list down everything that um, I'm bringing so I will not gonna forget anything. Um, I'm a planner. <laughs> I like to be prepared. Like I like to be ready all the time, especially if you are going for a vacation because I don't want to be like stressing that, oh my God, I forgot, I forgot this one or I forgot the things that especially for Dylan. So I just want to prepare everything. So when we are in the vacation, I'm like relaxing, chilling already and no worries. Okay, so I just want to enjoy my vacation that's why i want to prepare ahead of time so first i'm going to sh show to you like the list that i have and i have a like they call it marker to scratch everything out obviously the toiletries and the stuff that like the snacks the food snacks and stuff like that obviously we're gonna do that or or i will gonna prepare that tomorrow morning before we hit the road so yeah that so now pack with me and i'll show you the things that i'm gonna bring so this is the things that i will gonna bring first i'll put my son's name dylan there i hope you can see i am in our bedroom and the light is very dim okay so i like to categorize everything like sleep toiletries medicines foods miscellaneous clothes and this one is just like in the car so i'll not forget like i am i am very very specific i even put stroller cooler and ice diaper bag suitcases okay so first in the sleep category i put the pack and play because as you all know my son sleeps in his room in his crib by himself um he's not co we are not co-sleeping rather so yeah we will bring our pack and play sleep sack white noise baby camera and monitor mattress cover blanket his blanket um his bunny like a stuffed bunny that he likes to sleep with um the stars projector and the the room darkening curtains because the sunset i've researched that the sunset in this time in gatlinburg is 8 30 8 to 8 30 or 9 and my son's bedtime is 7 to 7 30 most of the time he sleeps at 7 p.m and i don't want to miss um i don't want to miss out his bedtime routine i i am i am very meticulous of his bedtime routine i want him to be comfortable even if we are in vacation and i don't want him to you know like 
stress or have a big adjustment in his bedtime routine that's why as much as possible we are bringing the things that will make him feel comfortable and still um think that this is his bed and of course the tape because we were going to tape the room darkening curtains this is his curtains by the way the room darkening curtains okay so let's move on to the toiletries obviously we're bringing the bath soap lotion aquaphor brush nail clippers let me nail clippers diapers wipes washcloths and the medicines very important tylenol band-aid alcohol pads and vitamins and clothes is shorts and shirts i put there six pieces and one in the diaper bag even if we're staying at four days you know the drill if there's kids we gotta have an extra clothes um swimming shoes and suits um sandals just one one jacket one hat and three pajamas and for miscellaneous um tablet or phone charger with ch phone with charger i'm sorry portable fan sunscreen pacifiers mosquito clippers i have that already i don't have to buy that and the sunscreen as well um just four favorite toys and three books i mean two books small ziplocs thermos with hot water power bank and for the food snacks apples blueberries bottles just five empty bottles bottle warmer yogurt oat milk heavy cream distilled water formula and his plate spoon and sippy cup and in this side right here is just like hang on let me okay in this side right here this is just like for me and david like our clothes toiletries and stuff like that so i'm not gonna just do it one by one obviously we're going to bring some food we are living in a condo so we can bring some food and um i even have a note there turn on the dishwasher before leaving okay so now i'm going to show you the things that i'm going to bring or i'm going to pack okay so let's start in my son's clothes so this are like six pieces shirts six pieces shorts um i didn't put in my um log to have bibs but i remember to bring bibs one two three four four bibs two socks because he'll not gonna wear shoes all the time he's gonna he's going to wear sandals um one hat um this like two swimsuits and a swimming diaper three pajamas and this is his sleep sack um I don't know if you know a sleep sack a sleep sack is like um, a wearable blanket um, this is big because this is for up to two years old and this one I really love this one this is this is the one that um, I ordered too because look like this is really soft and not thick at all it's just 100% cotton and my son loves this one I like for him to uh, wear to have a wearable blanket because it's more safer um he was wearing that one since he was three months old and then now he's 18 months he's still wearing the a wearable blanket or a sleep sack but a big but a bigger version i'll link the i'll link this one in the description box below if you want to check it out and a mattress cover and this one this is just you know like a very soft blanket too for him and his towel he will feel comfortable if he has his own towel so that one and then here like wipes well just one wipe because you know, we're just leaving for four days and this one um loves um this i like also this brand um i just got this one because this one is more you know like it only has 19 pieces so that's good um we usually use the costco brand and um but it's okay to use loves too and this, those are my like stuff and david's stuff these are my clothes my pajamas bathing suits and underwear in there and this are like um my 
husband's stuff so yeah that's it so what i do is i just roll this clothes and put it in the ziplock okay This is how it looks like now. Um, yeah, yeah. These are all our, all our stuff, and this is my husband's shoes. And you know, like I put it with a plastic bag. This plastic bag is already clean. I also sanitized that one. And there's still space here that we can put my toiletries and my husband's toiletries because. I will not gonna put it tonight because we are still using it tomorrow and tonight too I mean tomorrow morning so as soon as we're done with our toiletries I'm gonna put it here and so I will show to you like this is not complete but I'm going to show to you like um, the snacks that I prepared for us um, this is I'll put this one in the back seat together with me and my son because this is what we're gonna have um you know like sky flakes just like snacks you know and i have this small ziplocks right here just in case i need to put the because i will not gonna give my son like a one pack of like for example ritz because he'll not gonna finish it at all so i put like two pieces or three pieces in a ziploc and give it to him that's why i always have extra ziplocs and um this is my chips the lace barbecue um the bottles put in a ziploc and like this this um crackers um i can give this like half of i mean like one each to my son so that's why I just put in a big ziplock and um, what else I have I have like vegetable straws I put it already in a separate small ziplocks because I hope this will focus focus that okay I put it in a small ziplocks you know just it's very convenient and easy that way so I can just give one ziplock at a time to my son and hang on let me focus this one okay and this um, fish crackers again I put it in a small ziplocks just you know to give it to him right away and again this is mine this is my snacks and candies because I always get car sickness so 
I always have candies to me and this is like um, a baby biscuit that my son likes. So yeah, that's it. And this is his formula. So yeah, this is not complete those, but I'm gonna put all the things tomorrow morning before we leave. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope that you learned something from me and I'll just gonna clean up here and prepare everything and please don't forget to like share and subscribe i will also gonna vlog our trip in gatlinburg but i'm gonna use my phone because it's just easier to vlog um using my phone when i have my toddler with me because you know the drill but yeah um please subscribe share and like and i'll see you in my next video have a great day i love you all Mwah.